Welcome in to another edition of Reading, Writing, and Arithmetic here on KWN-TV. Every week we uh, take a look into one of the four schools, schools here in Dade County. And this week we're talking about Dade County High School. We have, uh, uh, and, and I learned something today, but uh, Miss Gabriel Hessing, which uh, I, I, I knew that, she, uh, that you taught the uh, chorus, not only at the middle school, but at the high school. But uh, you were also uh, responsible for the literary competition. Yes, sir. Welcome to Reading, Writing, and Arithmetic. It's good to I, be here. I'm, I'm just finding that out about 30 <laughs> seconds before we went on the air. So that's it. Because I was trying to figure out how the course teacher was here to talk about something to do with English. And she said, <laughs> well, it's not just English. It's, uh, it's all kinds of different facets of uh, literature. Yes, it's all... GHSA, which is the same organization that runs football, baseball, all those, all the athletic stuff, also holds a academic competition, which is our literary competition. It focuses on music literature, dramatic literature, English literature, and also spoken literature. So the students compete in all of those areas. So we had from the chorus a male uh, men's quartet the four boys and then a female trio three girls and then a female soloist and we didn't have a male soloist this year but that's another option that we could enter and then for drama they kind of did a little differently this year GHSA is worried about making sure that there's equal opportunity for boys and girls and we used to have male and female events in all of them so there was male dramatic interpretation female dramatic interpretation and we don't have those categories anymore it's just open for it could be um, girls or boys entering each category and we have three categories in drama which is dramatic monologue humorous monologue and then duo interpretation which is where it could be two people um, getting a doing a scene from Romeo and Juliet or something like that then for the English literature there is an essay contest and this also used to be male and female and we have argumentative essay now rhetorical essay and personal essay then there are two categories of extemporaneous speaking which is the most the one that needs the most explanation I think because the students get a current event topic either an international or domestic current event they have 30 minutes to prepare a speech approximately five to seven minutes and then they go into another room and they're judged on the organization of their speech as well as the elocution and their diction how they pronounce their words if they're speaking clearly those kinds of things so it's a very it's a full day long competition and it goes into a lot of different areas well day county just participated in that and they understand we actually held the competition we did we it was the very first time in anybody's memory and we even asked um, some of our former teachers like Donna Street did you do you remember is anybody else uh, ever have we ever hosted this before and nobody can ever remember us ever hosting before so it was an honor to be able to host for the first time and everybody had to come to us instead of us having to drive to them oh that's that's always good matter <laughs> of fact look on your uh, tv screen there uh this is the uh, article that's up in the mountain valley independent at discoverdate.com day county high school students placed first overall in the uh, tournament we should have some of the students come on now they are actually being honored at the board meeting tonight um, by Miss Swader so they're in their different tennis and track practices right now but well good deal and 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 what all did we place first is I guess overall is a team we place first overall because each event you get a certain number of points so for first place you get seven points like a track meet towards an overall team score at the end um, second place you got five points third place was two points and fourth place was one point and we placed third place or higher in every single category that we entered which is how we won the now <laughs> the our, our, our region um of course uh, many of you are familiar with baseball and football and basketball so same same teams we compete same with teams. Mm -hmm. and how many teams participated we had five teams participating out of I believe there are eight or nine um, in our area so that was a good good mm -hmm. number um, we competed against model Kusa 
Chattooga, and our Murchie and Dade were the five teams. And uh, so we get a, uh, a region banner. We have a big trophy. <laughs> okay. It's about this big. It's in the trophy case in the front of the high school already. Uh, me and Miss Jessica Wilson, we got that in there as soon as we could. Absolutely. Now, <laughs> now you're the instructor for this, but you, you, do you have help? Yes. Um, Jessica Wilson, the drama teacher at the high school and middle school, she helped prepare the uh, drama students. And then Miss Cindy Bowden and Miss Megan Baugh also helped prepare our essay contest students all right well fantastic congratulations and uh, now we've learned something I, you know you're you're a lot more than just <laughs> the chorus teacher yes sir <laughs> <laughs> but uh but uh, not not to not to slack off on that because you do a wonderful job on there but when we come back there's other activities going on congratulations to the uh to the uh, first place finish in the uh competition for the region that is awesome and uh, that's uh, that is great. When we come back, we'll talk about some more things that are happening at the high school as uh, we continue with reading, writing, and arithmetic. We'll be right back. Ponders Mountain Pharmacy stops to wish you a safe and healthy and happy Easter holiday. As you gather to celebrate the resurrection of Jesus Christ, happy Easter to your family from all the employees of Ponders Mountain Pharmacy, Alabama Highway 71 in Higdon. Happy Easter, everyone. When you need a licensed plumber, call Stacy Ledwell and the staff at Mr. Reuter in Scottsboro. Mr. Reuter provides your home or business with advanced solutions using high-tech equipment. Our commitment to customer satisfaction shines through in our personalized service. When you schedule an appointment, our professionals will dedicate time to explain the work that has to be done. Our staff will give you upfront pricing, so you'll know exactly what's involved before any work begins. We even pump septic tanks and do new construction on houses. Fully licensed, bonded, and insured, Mr. Reuter in Scottsboro. Call Stacy Ledwell today to set up an appointment at 256. 256- 574-4710. Hey everybody, bacon is back at Little Caesars. Pizza, pizza. That's right, it's Little Caesars bacon wrapped crust deep, deep dish pizza. Our eight corner pizza topped with pepperoni and bacon and wrapped in more than three and a half feet of bacon. Get a large today for just $12. Little Caesars bacon wrapped crust deep, deep dish pizza is available all day and it's available hot and ready from four until eight every day. Little Caesars, Highway 136 West in Trenton and 411 Kimball Crossing in Kimball. Roman's Mobile Homes can help make the dream of home ownership come true. Come by and see your on-the-lot selection of manufactured homes or sit down with us and let us custom design your top-of-the-line constructed manufactured home. With names like Cabco and Clayton, we can design anything from one to six bedrooms, shingle or metal roof, finished drywall, and more. All our homes come with central heat and air, including a heat pump, financing available, and prices include delivery and setup. See us today at Roman's Mobile Homes, 2019 Highway 136 West, just west of the four-way stop, top of San Mountain 706 657 8807 Romans Mobile Homes Delivering top quality health care locally, we are Northeast Alabama Health Services. With seven locations, there's one near you. Scottsboro, Section, North Sand Mountain in Higdon, Skyline, Woodville, Fife, and Fort Payne. We accept Medicare, Medicaid, and of course your private insurance. If you're unemployed, low income, or have a high copay or deductible, you may also qualify for a reduced rate office visit as low as $16. Ask about our free medication program. And ladies, you may qualify for a free or reduced rate mammogram. And cervical cancer screenings are available too. Putting your health concerns first. We're Northeast Alabama Health Services. As you spend Easter with your family, Pastor Brad Bridges and the Congregation of the Mountain View Church of God urges you to remember the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. We invite you to attend our services beginning at 1045. There will be an egg hunt following the morning service. Come join us at the Mountain View Church of God, Bryant, Alabama. Welcome back to Reading, Writing, and Arithmetic. We're going to have to bring him on before the end of the show. You know that, don't you? Okay. <laughs> We're talking today, Gabriel Hastings, who is the uh, the uh, the course uh, uh, teacher at both the Dade Middle School and Dade County High School. Of course, the show this week is about Dade County High School. We've been talking a little bit about liter- literacy 
with their competition in the region level where Dade County picked up the first place. We're going to talk about on to the state level, but before, the reason I said we're going to have to have him on, you have your uh, son with us. I do have my son. <laughs> and he's doing great. He is doing great. He's doing good. What's his name? Cademan. Cademan. Yeah. Well, we'll try to have Cademan on the show before the end. Of the, if he wants to get on here, <laughs> we'll put him on TV and let everybody see, uh, see Cademan. So that's, that's great. Now, we... <laughs> yeah, all right. Well, we'll talk with you about it. He's, he's, I, I think he's agreeing. He may want to negotiate a contract before he comes on. <laughs> but, uh, but uh, you know, so we've, we've had the region. Yes. Won the region. And now tell us about the state. Well, March 4th, we held the region tournament here. And Trenton First Baptist was actually our host for mm-hmm. that event. And they were absolutely wonderful at working with us to get everything set up and allowing us to use their facilities. They have a great facility at Trenton First Baptist. It was set up perfectly for the whole event. All the coaches really complimented how the sanctuary was laid out and the practice rooms and everything. So that was really great. And then, so what happens is every student who gets a first place um, overall at the region tournament, they um, move on to the state level. So when um, he's doing okay, Mom. he's doing okay. <laughs> yeah, he's doing all right. Uh, I'll let you know if he heads towards the door. Okay, we'll take a break. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we placed first in female solo. It's Madison Getty. She's a senior, and then we placed first in women's trio. It was Molly Trantham, uh, Lainey Cravat, and Alexis Dupree, and then we placed second in men's quartet. So we had Brandon Bell, Noah Price, Alex Holdaway, and Dylan Getty as a part of that. And then we placed first in Dramatic Monologue, which was Jacob Smith. He's a senior. First in Dramatic Duo, which is Damian Pickering, who is a wonderful football player, but also quite the actor, too. He's really great. And Chloe Peak. And then we placed third in humorous monologue there's bailey roberts also senior so we have lots and lots of seniors that were involved in this and then we got a first place essay for rhetorical essay which dylan canard first place personal essay caroline gregor and second place or i'm sorry third place argumentative essay Haley keesler then for extemporaneous speaking cole irwin placed second and Haley Keesler placed second. Well, congratulations! So they did an absolutely wonderful job. The kids, the kids really, really did very, very well. Absolutely, and that was at the state level. That was at the region level. Region, okay. So all of the first place then went the very next week to state, and we had to compete at Warner Robins Veterans High School in Warner Robins, Georgia. Um, so we left Friday immediately after school and traveled down, and the co- first competition started at uh, 8.30 on Saturday morning. Um, and so at that level, there are eight regions, and so we placed fifth in women's trio, fifth in female solo, fifth in duo, fifth in dramatic monologue, so we were rocking the fifths, the fifth place. Um And then we started to get the essays back, and Caroline placed fourth, and Dylan placed third. Wow. So uh, when I called Coach Warren, because he's our athletic director, so Mm -hmm. even though GHSA, even though the literary tournament is not an athletic activity per se, um, he's still ahead of us. And so I called Coach Warren, and he said, there are 94 AA schools in the state of Georgia. And so to place fifth, to get first overall at region, and then to place fifth in our AA classification is a pretty good job oh, for, absolutely. for our kids. So we were, they were amazed at what that state level competition is because um, some schools, their literary team is just as serious as their any of their athletic teams. So that's our that's our vision, <laughs> is we want to go and we want to win the whole thing. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, ninety four <laughs> schools. So you know, not everybody chooses to compete in every open uh, category. Right. But they could. Right. 
so in essence Dade County placed fifth in 94 schools Mm -hmm. you know not every school participated in every level they could have only participated at the local region in one or two events Mm -hmm. and didn't place to go on to region and you know that type of thing so congratulations placing fifth overall in the state Mm -hmm. uh, one at uh, first place in the region and uh, and uh, I mean that's outstanding they did they and the kids were absolutely wonderful they're you know people talk about um you know teenagers and and these these were great kids it's a uh, miss wilson and i kept saying all day long how proud we are and how glad we are that we work here in dade county because we've got some awesome students and some awesome parents to in this system well we appreciate you telling us all about that that is some good news and the whole article, by the way, in the picture of all the gang can be found when you go to discoveryday.com. Click on the latest edition of the Mountain Valley Independent. There it is. And there's all your, uh, there's all the students that won all of those mm-hmm. in, that, in that picture there. So that is, uh, that's some good news there. You'll be able to see that, read the whole story. When you go to discoveryday.com, click on the latest edition of the Mountain Valley Independent. We're uh, rolling through reading, writing, or arithmetic. It's all about Dade County High School this week. When we come back, we're going to get Gabriel to uh, tell us a little bit more that's going on. They've got uh, some band concerts and different things coming up over the next month or so. So we'll tell you all about it. Stay with us on reading, writing, and arithmetic. year i didn't go to h and r block but this year i can go to block and pay half what i pay my other guy you can switch to block and pay half too half price is a better price when you think about it so follow us we're going to h and r block switch to block and pay half the Moore family name has built a legacy of trust, compassion, and peace of mind by standing with families during time of loss. Now in our 70th year, the Moore family commitment grows even stronger, from affordable, traditional services to cremation. Our experienced staff stands ready to follow through on you and your family's wishes. Since 1945, the Moore family of funeral homes, North Sand Mountain and Trenton, always dedicated to those we serve. Brother Eddie Cantrell and the Congregation of Trenton First Baptist Church invite you to join them in celebrating the resurrection and life of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Brother Eddie and everyone at Trenton First Baptist would like to see you during regular services at regular times on Easter Sunday. Happy Easter from Brother Eddie Cantrell and the Congregation of Trenton First Baptist Church. Make your plans to join Dade County Sheriff Ray Cross for his kickoff re-election campaign event. The event will be at the New Salem Community Center, March 26th, 2 until 5 in the afternoon. Dade County Sheriff Ray Cross's kickoff re-election campaign event is a meet-and-greet fundraiser with barbecue and live entertainment. Don't miss the kickoff re-election campaign event, March 26th, 2 until 5 at the New Salem Community Center. Re-elect Ray Cross, Dade County Sheriff, standing between you and crime. Paid for by the candidate. Hey everybody, bacon is back at Little Caesars. Pizza, pizza. That's right, it's Little Caesars bacon wrapped crust deep, deep dish pizza. Our eight corner pizza topped with pepperoni and bacon and wrapped in more than three and a half feet of bacon. Get a large today for just $12. Little Caesars bacon wrapped crust deep, deep dish pizza is available all day. And it's available hot and ready from four until eight every day. Little Caesars, Highway 136 West in Trenton and 411 Kimball Crossing in Kimball. Back now to the radio uh, reading, writing, and arithmetic. Here I'm thinking about radio and TV classifiers. (laughs) (laughs) That's the show we do early in the morning that I'm also on. Reading, writing, and arithmetic. We are talking uh, uh, this uh, week here about Dade County High School. And you got several other things coming up. Tell yes. us a little bit about a few. We, well, we've already had a really big spring starting in mid-February and January. The band has already gone to um, the UGA Honor Band, um, the District Honor Band. We had, with the chorus, we had sixth grade statewide honor chorus. Is back in Athens, Georgia again this year, now and uh, at the Classic Center. This is a great space to sing in. Um, so we took five sixth graders and 
those girls did an absolutely phenomenal job. Then we had Cassidy Walker uh, made Allstate for the second year in a row as an eighth grader, which is super hard. The middle school level is just cutthroat. It's about 8,000 students trying out for around 1,500 spots. Um, so it's it's super difficult, and she has made it two years in a row, so we're really proud of her. And that was the next weekend in February. And then we had the Region Literary Tournament. And then the next week, March 10th, the band, the high school band and high school chorus actually traveled to Atlanta, Georgia to sing at the state legislature in the rotunda. And uh, we were personally invited by Representative Deffenbaugh and Senator Mullis. And, and I heard that y'all did exceptionally well. Yes, they did a very, very great job. The kids did a wonderful job. And um, Representative Deffenbaugh took us through a quick tour of the chambers, which we had never done before. So the kids were like, oh, this is where all the laws are made. And it was it was pretty cool. Um, the kids the kids really did. We had um, lots of – the last time we went two years ago, the um, – they were not in session and so we were just singing there weren't as many people around they were just there for committee hearings and different things so it was a very live uh legislative session this mm. this time and so there was people everywhere and we had lots of people um lobbyists and different senators and different um officials walking in and and asking where are you, now where are you from and man they sound good and now this is this is what level and so mm -hmm. they did a, an absolutely phenomenal job um and so then this week we are actually the sixth grade chorus will be performing at the new superintendent's welcome ceremony tomorrow mm -hmm. at the commission and then Wednesday and Thursday we'll be traveling both all the choirs all five choirs from the middle school and high school to Pepperell High School for the large group performance evaluation and you'll hear kids call it festival or competition all of those things and so that's run by the George Music Educators Association we go and we perform for judges um, and they give us a score and, the, and comments to bring back. And then actually, I skipped over one this last Monday, the March 14th, that was our festival concert. And so we ran our concert. Instead of having a normal spring concert, we ran it like a festival, and we hired two judges. Um, one is Dr. Rebecca Atkins from UTC. She's the professor of choral music education there. And then Mr. Kevin Moore, who is the director at Ringgold High School. And he is has been teaching for 18 years and is taught at the middle school and the high school level. So they came and gave evaluation and adjudicated comments um, for the students. And then we've spent the next week working Working preparing on, you working on the things um, so that we can fix some last minute things and and sometimes it just helps to hear it from somebody else the th same thing that your teachers well, told you over, over and over again it's, it's <laughs> the same thing as, it's the same thing as sort of it's, but it's different where where the basketball team may play uh, uh, you know the you know a, a, a big school somewhere where they can find out where their weaknesses are. Mm -hmm. You know they they didn't go they didn't go to Memphis to win. They went there to figure out what they needed to do to compete exactly. back home. Exactly. So it's the same type thing. Exactly. So then when we come back from spring break, we will have the middle school band concert on April twelfth and the high school band concert on April twenty eighth. And then on April 25th, so that Monday before that, that is when the high school chorus will host our annual spring coffee house. Where it's, it's always, a, always a big deal. Oh, it's great. And it's a ton of fun. The kids are performing music in solo, duets, small groups, and then the choirs will perform one or two pieces as well um, for from movie, musicals, and television music. Um, so it's more of the stuff that you remember. I know one of the girls is doing my favorite things from The Sound of Music. Mm -hmm. um, and we looked at some music this morning to prepare for it at the mix with the mix chorus as well. Oh, very good. Well, a lot of things happening. Oh, uh, we stay busy. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. And we appreciate you coming on. Uh, we're going to take a quick break. We'll have more reading, Riley Arithmetic, about Dade County High School right after this. Last year, I didn't go to H&R Block, but this year, 
I can go to Block and pay half what I pay my other guy. You can switch to Block and pay half too. Half price is a better price when you think about it. So follow us. We're going to h and Block. Switch to Block and pay half. I'm your tailgate grill. Your buddy was in such a rush to get into the game, he didn't quite put me out. I see you bought the industrial-sized bottle of lighter fluid. Smart. And if you got cut rate insurance, you could be paying for this yourself. So get an Allstate agent and be better protected from mayhem. Like me. There's an Allstate agent right here in your community. As we gather to celebrate our risen Lord, Pastor Nick Forshee and the Congregation of North Georgia Worship Center invite you to join them in their Easter services. Happy Easter to you and yours from the Congregation of North Georgia Worship Center and Pastor Nick Forshee. Hey, Barn, Aunt B don't get around as good as she used to, and she's in need of a lift chair. Well, Andy, you gotta nip it in the bud. Comfort Gallery has catnapper lift chairs in stock with free delivery and setup. Catnapper reclining sofas in leather, designer fabrics, and even camouflage. Catnapper rocker recliners starting at $2.69. Hey, Andy, I just been over to Comfort Gallery. They also have England sofas by Lazy Boy. Queen size pillow top mattress sets now $2.99. King size sets just $3.99. Is that a fact? Surprise, surprise. Surprise, surprise, they now have free one-year layaway and six months same as cash. And listen up, Annie, for the credit challenge, they now offer no credit check payment plans. Located in Kimball, Tennessee, in the Old Hills Building. That's Comfort Gallery Mattress and Furniture, open seven days a week. Y'all go by there and see Gary. Comfort Gallery, 780 Main Street in Kimball. Free delivery and setup, 90 days same as cash, and easy payment plans. Open Monday through Friday, 9 to 6, Saturday, 9 to 5, and Sunday, 1 to 5. Telephone 423-837-3000. Back now to Reading, Writing, and Arithmetic, uh, Gabriel Hastings here with us and making his television debut. (laughs) (laughs) Who do you have with you, Gabriel? This is my son, Cademan. Can you say hi? Hi. Hello, Cademan. We appreciate you coming on being part of Reading, Writing, and Arithmetic. (laughs) What? Yeah, that's right. That is right. We appreciate... uh, I uh, appreciate yeah. you bringing him on, getting him on TV. That's uh, that well, he, great. He he's loving it. Absolutely. Yeah, he didn't know that his mom had been on TV before. No, he didn't. Yeah, that, that is good. Well, why so many ever things. did it do everything? Do what? Do everything. Because he can see himself in the monitor. Oh, okay. Are you wave at yourself? So if you wave at yourself, you're actually waving at somebody at home. So yeah. <laughs> that's the way you do that. Well, good deal. And and you go to uh, where do you go? Preschool. Preschool. All right. Do you like preschool? You learn it a lot. I got a lot of friends. Good deal. <laughs> good deal. Lot. Lots. What number, of what number did you learn today? What number is that? That's fourteen. 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 14. All right. Hey, it's different in the mirror. Yeah, it's backwards, <laughs> isn't it? See, <laughs> it's, see, it's there's backwards. a four and a one. Yeah, instead. you'd have I'm to like, do this. See if you go. Yeah, you gotta switch it. <laughs> You're going to be able to do that. Well, good deal. Gabriel Hastings, of course, a uh, pr- uh, teacher at the uh, high school and at the middle school with our course, and also the literacy, uh, literacy teacher that brought home the first place team this year Yes, in the region. So congratulations once again, and we thank you for being home, uh, being here with us, and bringing us up to date all the things that are happening with uh, the band and the course and everything at the high school. All right, are you are you out of uh, are you out on spring break too next week when when mom is? Uh, yes. Actually, I think all of us are off spring break. <laughs> all right, and I don't even know if it yes if we're all off. Well, I think mom says that you are, so that is good. Just go on a quick vacation. Eat lots of ice no. cream. And all that. No, on summer we go on vacation. Oh, okay. Wait till summer. All right. Stay a long time. Gabriel, thank you. Thank you very much. And thank you for coming on, okay? Okay. And thank you for watching. We'll see you coming up on another edition of Reading, Writing, and Arithmetic. <laughs>